Hello, this is the TradeSite U.S. Stocks and Futures Market Preview for Wednesday, the 29th of May, 2019. An interesting day in the markets here. Um, let's talk a bit. Well, let's just look at the net, first of all. Here's the ES Front Month Futures Contract. It's the daily chart of the broad market and futures form. And as you can see, we were uh, down on the session um, and right back to that trend line. Remember, this is what we talked about over the weekend as being a key area. We're very close to cracking what's going to matter. And if you look at the NASDAQ side, it's almost worse. Here's a look at crude oil down 26 cents, but still sitting right on that static trend line at 58.90. Gold up a buck 90 to 12.79. There's a 13 comer or seeker buy signal in place there. The S&P cash uh, loses 23.67. Uh, so again, this is right on that red line. And just under that is that last support. And this is kind of a head and shoulders or an inverted cup and handle formation. Not pretty. The NDX also lost 22.58. This has now broken that static trend line completely and confirmed the break. So cracked the lows of recent times here and we're in trouble. The SOC's down 11.67. This is near the lows of the year. Well, at least since now, not since February. Um, Biotech's down 42.55. Never really got going this year um, at all. Russell 2000 down 10. Very key area here on the small caps. Which often lead the market. The VIX back up 17.50 for the close. That's up a buck 65. Where we like to see it, and we got a little more action on a couple of trades today because of it. Stocks and futures both green for us. So it was kind of nice. The trend closing at 1.59. That's a high reading there. Puts the 10 day moving average actually down to 1.12 because a big number, a bigger number dropped off near two off the moving average. This is what's interesting. So we'll look at the intraday action in a minute. But I mean, let me skip ahead first. TLT, the 20 year bond ETF, up a buck one. So bonds continue to rise. Goldman Sachs uh, down $3.56. This thing does not look good at all. Um, Facebook uh, gains $3.25, actually. Uh, Tesla down a buck 93. And then a bit of danger there, most likely. Amazon up 13.15, sitting on that static trend line. Netflix up 39 cents. Apple down 74 cents and Google up 95 cents. <clears throat> All right. In terms of uh, NASDAQ volume, I wanted to point out 2.3 billion shares on the NASDAQ. Uh, by the way, the advanced decline ratios were very negative, almost negative 900 each on the NASDAQ in the New York. So we go from the lightest volume day in a long time on Friday to the heaviest volume day in a while on Tuesday. But what's interesting was the early volume was very light. We almost had a volume warning again today. And yet we closed out at some of the heav heaviest volume we've seen. And I, and I want to talk about why that's important. I've pointed out many times that we see uh, upward movements have had almost no volume and downward movements have had the volume. So in other words, the market bounces a bit, but nobody's really buying. It just goes, it's like a suction. There's no sellers, so it drifts higher on very minimal buying. But then once the sellers do come in, there is volume. And that's a negative for the market. We've been seeing that pattern now for a while, even in this generally what was an upward move over the last two months until we flattened out. Um, in the last month or so. And and here again, here's the ES intraday, the five-minute candle. So you can see Friday had the gap up and came back down and filled and then closed dead. And we expected that because of the holiday. And then Monday, the future's open for a couple hours, and that doesn't really count. And so we open here Tuesday on a small gap up. We shot up for about 20 minutes. That's retesting the highs of Friday. That's the high of the day. And then we roll over, fill the gap, no big deal. We're doing nothing. And then we come out of lunch and we sell off. And that's where the volume was. So once again, volume on the downside move, and it's a heavy, true trading move, gave us a nice winner in VMware, and uh, we had one in Bob earlier in the day. So again, uh, interesting to watch that volume. Um, what looked like it could have been a boring day with the early volume number ends up being interesting because the volume came in. In terms of economic data on Wednesday, the only thing we have is the Richmond Manufacturing Index at 10 a.m., so we'll just keep trading it, but um, you know, certainly... Uh, it'll be interesting to see what the market gives us. Uh, we closed uh, the futures at 28.01. Yeah, okay, so we're down a little bit more again here, even uh, ahead of the overnight session. Charts, as usual, brought to you by eSignal. If you've not yet taken a trial of our services, feel free to do so. We will help you out for a couple of weeks. Have a great trading day.